work hard and be enthusiastic and be creative. Yeah, my name is um, Ira Deverson. I'm a researcher at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research in Sydney. I lead a lab called the Genomic Technologies Research Lab. We work on emerging genomic technologies and how those can be applied in human health. I studied biology and chemistry at university at the undergraduate level. Um, and then I did a PhD at the Garvin Institute in genetics before becoming a, a full-time researcher. Yeah, my team works on long read sequencing technologies from Oxford Nanopore and, and our goal is basically to develop these technologies and methods around them and applications around them to improve the diagnosis of patients with rare inherited disease. Yeah, the, the current research is, is very interesting because we're um, working on a cutting edge technology. So everything that we're doing is, is kind of new and we're constantly trying new things and hoping to improve the applications that we can that we can deliver using new technologies. And I really enjoy that that aspect that we're able to push the boundaries. Obviously, that comes with a challenge that, you know, because we're developing new methods and, and trying out new things, often they don't work. And often we spend a long time troubleshooting and trying to trying to get new methodologies optimized and up to the point where we can you know really apply them uh, usefully i would say you've got to work hard and be enthusiastic and be creative and also just don't take yourself too seriously realize that science is is, is fun it's it's not it's not so serious i think people people well, at least in australia you know see it as quite dry and boring and serious subject but it's actually very fun and we get to come to work every day and work on interesting creative projects that we're excited about so yeah it obviously matters because it's the way you know human society develops and improves. It's it's the way we you know, improve diagnostics and medicines, and it's the way we improve food and agriculture, and it's, it's the way we improve engineering and, and technology. So it's really the, the the process that drives human society forward.